Hey guys, Nostalgic Dan one again, and I'm here with part two. So, this is part two for my recent pickups, episode eight. And if you haven't watched part one, do so, and then you can come back to part two. But now we're gonna check out the console stuff. Then the last part we left off checking out the handheld stuff I picked up. But now we're gonna check out some console stuff. First up, we got a Nintendo Wii game, and you know I haven't been showing my Wii that much love, but I've been wanting to buy some more games for it. And I picked up Battalion Wars 2 on the Wii in mint condition. It was only six bucks, and you know I saw the, the original Battalion Wars came out on the GameCube, and this one came out on the Wii. And I looked up reviews and like video footage, and it looks like it's just like a fun game. Period. But you know, for six bucks, I definitely want to check it out. And another Wii game, so happy about that. It's Battalion Wars 2. Next, we got two PS2 games, both published by the same company. But that is, we're going to start off with this one. First up, we got Artanelica 2, Melody of Metaphalica, published by NIS. And the Artanelica series is a bizarre RPG series, to say the least. And, but it's a good RPG series, I think so, from what i played of this so far. These games are really hard to find, like, really hard to find, both, like, the Arts and Alka games on the PS2 are a little pricey, and especially the Quoga on PS3. But the reason I say they're bizarre is because, like, they're really, really sexual <laughs> RPGs. Like, like, they take sexual innuendos to a whole new level, especially the PS3 one, but, like, man, there's so many sexual innuendos in here, it's ridiculous. Like from the dive system, what they call it, or and like this, there's like this life extending agent that like, like they, the first time they talked about this life extending agent in the game, it sounded like they were describing sex, <laughs> basically, or they're like, oh, be gentle with it, just stick it in there, just put it in there, nice and smooth. Oh, you're being too hard, <laughs> but. But it is a turn-based sort of RPG. It's really bizarre battle system too, because you have an attack phase and then a defense phase, and you have these two girls ba back here who are called Revitals, and they're like they use song basically, and the game's really heavy based on song, which I do like. There's some beautiful music in here, which I, I actually this did come with the OST soundtrack, which I was really happy about. But it's really based on song, and they use song magic, as they call it. It's kind of like magic. But, and you have them chant, but they never do, like, physical attacks. They can only chant song magic. So, like, to build up their the power of their song magic, you have your two people in the front, like, because they're in the back. And then you have two people in the front who do attacking during the attack phase. And it's kind of like a button-mashing, like, attack phase where you try and get in as many attacks as possible. And that powers them up, and then you just unleash the magic, and you gotta use it wisely. In defense phase, you have to, like, almost, there's like a little meter that shows up, and you have to time your defense, and if you miss it, they get hurt, and stuff like that. So you have to protect the Rivetails, but really beautiful game with some of its artwork. It's incredible, and it's got like that, that like PS1 vibe with the like 2D, 2D slash kind of 3D sprite work and all that, which I really love. But really interesting RPG. Like the, I did mention the dive system where like you you dive into these girls' minds and you explore their minds and get to know them better. And the reason you do that is that's the way they learn new magic spells and stuff like that. And that's how you get them to be more effective in battle. Really in depth. I mean like even like certain characters protecting like the Rivetels depending on who's protecting them, like, they'll, they'll be, like, less effective or more effective. It's really bizarre, really out there. You know, if you like those kind of RPGs, definitely check out the Arts and Alco series. And, like I said, amazing music in the game. I think I'm, like, 10 hours into it. I want to get back into it. But recently I picked up, just got this in the mail not too long ago, actually. And it's another NIS America title, and that is... Phantom Brave, the original Phantom Brave on PS2. This game is mint. <laughs> like, it just looks like they broke the shrink wrap and never played the game. 
I got this, I got this for eight bucks, so I was really happy about that. Phantom Brave, if you don't know, is a strategy role-playing game, and it's really, really inspired by Disgaea. So, like, heavily influenced by Disgaea. It even seems like it's kind of running on the same engine as Disgaea. So, if you like Disgaea, here's another series for you to check out. This one seems to be a little more colorful and whatnot, whereas this guy's a little more dark, a little more dark in tone. But I haven't tried it out. I definitely want to try it out. For eight bucks, it's complete too because it has the the soundtrack CD as you see there. So again, really happy to have a soundtrack CD. I'm starting to build a collection of soundtrack CDs too. So there you have it. Wii game and two NIS games. Really happy about that. And these are these two games mark 98 PS2 games, so I'm two away from 100 for a PS2. And I want to finish it off strong, basically. I want those last two to be really quality titles. And next, we got some 360 and PS3 love because I love them both. <laughs> but we're going to start out right away with the game that's been consuming. Basically, the day I'm recording is consumed this day and the day before, but man, I, I was watching like gameplay footage for like the, the new game of this like series, and I just got the instant urge where I'm like, oh my god, I just gotta play this series. So I went ahead and found a really mint copy in Black Label 2, copy of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, and I, I just finished the game like not too long ago, honestly. Like I kind of full played it and did a full run of it today. Man, I'm I, I have so much to say about this game. Like uh, part of me wants to do a review, but like part of me is like, oh, every, everyone's seen a review of Uncharted too. But man, what can I say? Like it's just a great, great, epic, epic action adventure game. It's amazing. If you don't, <laughs> surprisingly, if the few of you out there who don't know what the Uncharted series is like. It's like a linear like action adventure game and you know there's like separated with gunplay mechanics where it's a third person shooter but then it goes into parts where you got to do like platforming and like climbing on ledges which gosh everything in this game just works so well. I mean the shooting mechanics could be tighter but you know I'm not complaining about that it works like most of the time anyways. But like hanging from ledges everything's just so accurate and like the environments, the environments are incredible in this game, like there's such a wide variety of environments. Like the last city you get to in this game is just incredible, like I don't want to spoil it, but uh, I walked into that city for the first time when the doors opened up and I was just like blown away. But that's what I mean, like so much attention to detail in this game, like from little tiny things in the environment to like the detail, like if Drake goes in a pool and he has like dry clothes, he comes out with wet clothes and stuff like that. And like animations where like he's coming down a zip line and like he drops off and then like braces himself against the wall from the momentum to stop himself from continuing. Like so many attention to detail. It's just like the animation is just so fluid. There's they spend a lot of time with animation in this game, I could tell, because they added so many different little animations for literally everything Drake does. And this is my first time playing an Uncharted series, and I knew Drake it, it was a character for sure, and he's an awesome character. Tons of witty one-liners. I loved all the characters. I loved all the dialogue between them. Just an amazing, epic adventure. I mean, it starts you off where you're just like hanging from a train, and that's how it, start, it starts the game off, where you're just hanging off a train that's like crashed over the ledge. It's just epic. Everything works fine. I mean... It's a must-have for PS3 owners, and I definitely want to pick up Uncharted 3 when it drops in price for sure, but <sighs> I love this game. This will be, I consider this game, honestly, to be one of the more memorable games for me this year. And next, we got a PS3 game I haven't had the chance to play because I was playing Uncharted 2. And... Like, I wanted to play Uncharted 2 because, like, I don't have that much free time and I didn't want to have to, like, wait another week to try and finish it off. But I did pick up another PS3 game. It's still brand new, still sealed, but I picked up Valkyria Chronicles on the PS3 by Sega. And this is an awesome, like, third-person action RPG. 
And it's like, it's like you take control of like a squad. It takes place in like a wartime, and like, it's like part strategy role playing where like you command units, but then like, it's really cool. It shifts to like third person, and you take control of other characters and move around with like a third person shooter. Really awesome. But it's got RPG elements where you can like, you know, do alchemy for like different items and change items, so uh, equip different stuff and. It's just really bizarre and like it's got an awesome like kind of like sketchy art style to it in game which is really interesting but I definitely want to check this game out hopefully maybe this like next Thanksgiving weekend I might start this up so definitely can't wait to play it it's still brand new got it for a great price but I heard this is a really cool game to check out on PS3 so Valkyria Chronicle and next we got two 360 games. I haven't played either of them, but it's been a very long time since I bought some more 360 games. I haven't been showing it that much love, but I wanted to get some more games for it. So I went ahead and picked these off Amazon Warehouse and got them for great prices. They're both like mint. First one is Guilty Gear 2 Overture and again another Aqueous title. It's not the third one in the streets of pickups, but it's it's this game is like a like a Dynasty Warriors clone with Guilty Gear characters, and that's what it is. It's just like a total Dynasty Warriors clone. And the manual for this thing is gigantic. I mean, this game is like really heavy, but it's because of this manual. Look how thick that is. <laughs> no flimsy eight pages. Let me look at this. It's just huge. I think it's like it's like over it's like 63 pages. <laughs> this is one of the biggest manuals I've seen for a modern game that I can remember. And next, we picked up. I picked up a uh, another first-person shooter. I, I've been having the urge to play a, a new first-person shooter since it's been a while since I played FPS. So I went ahead and oh, Get to Gear Two was only like five bucks. <laughs> But I went ahead and picked up Quake 4 on the Xbox 360, and it's mint, and this was 5 bucks as well. So I just had the urge to play a first-person shooter, and I, I do own Quake on the Nintendo 64. And I'm, I like Quake, it's just like a, you know, Doom, Duke style, and I like those kind of first-person shooters. Really cool, and I wanted to check this one out, and cool thing is, this is complete, it's got the, it came with the, Quake 4 bonus disc. And what's really cool is that I think the bonus disc it says the bonus disc has Quake 4 the making of, but more more interesting, it's got a full copy of Quake 2, <laughs> which is interesting. I, I had no idea about that. I had no idea I had a bonus disc, but that's really cool. It's like two games in one. I got Quake 4 and Quake 2. So. I haven't played Quake 2 either, so it's two new games for me, so I definitely can't wait to play both of those. So, you know, Quake 4, ID software. Can't go so on. there you have it, guys. That is my recent pickups, episode 8. And there's some games there, a good chunk of games, a lot of quality stuff, and a lot of, actually a lot of games I've been wanting to, you know, like been looking for for a while and check off the list and wanting to play. So thank you for watching. Part two, this is more of the, the console part. Thank you for watching guys and I'll catch you guys later.